so we're back to our grafting series and today's subject is the approach graft. Uh, the approach graft is one that has been happening in nature and purposefully for a long, long time. Uh, basically, people noticed ages ago, thousands of years ago probably, that two trees growing near each other can eventually fuse because as the trees get bigger and they move in the wind, they can rub uh, each other so that the outer bark is rubbed off and then the plant fuses, the two trees fuse together. Uh, and then um, they noticed that you could cut the, um, you know, below, they cut the, the preferred variety below where that fuse happened, where the union happened, and the second tree would become that preferred variety from the first. So, of course, planting a seed, waiting for it to get big enough to do this, um, you know, next to a tree that you like uh, is sort of a time intensive project. And so, uh, the shortcut is you grow a seedling in a pot, for instance, like this, and you uh, use the approach graft, which is basically taking the outer uh, layer off of the, the woody part uh, of each of the trees, the, the one that you want to be the top of your smaller tree, and uh, then also do that on the smaller tree. So you sort of have uh, a different strategy with this because you need to keep both of these plants alive while that wound is healing and while they're healing together. Uh, so typically I graft with a razor blade and this is actually a situation that's better for either a grafting knife or uh, what one of my uh, friends got for me a vegetable peeler. Uh, this is not a fancy vegetable uh, peeler. You want a like brand X one, just the bare basics. And so, uh, yeah, he actually sent this to me uh, a while ago. And this is the first time I'm going to use it because approach grafting is really not my style of grafting. Uh, it can be very easy to do, very successful, but you do have to keep both plants alive while they are uh, like making that, you know, wounding that, or healing the wound that you have created. Ah, so anyway, I'm almost successful in getting this out of its packaging. <laughs> there we go. Okay, seems that all the important plastic parts are off of that. So I have my two plants to do the approach graft on. Uh, this one happens to be grafted to Promchymia, and this is a turpentine rootstock. So uh, this particular plant, I'm actually wanting to branch out. So perfect situation. Uh, a lot of this was going to be wasted anyway, so it might as well be the next part, you know, the grafted part of this plant here. Uh, so, anyway, the first thing that I'll do is just make some workspace for me by cutting off some of these leaves. Okay. okay. So the... Wanna, there's a little bit of a, a bend here, so I want to take advantage of that. So I think that should work out right about there. It doesn't matter that much that these two um, plants are, the, the growth is a little bit different diameter. Uh, Promchymia is a bigger plant and uh, thicker uh, right in this area than the turpentine is, but it should work out fine. Now, I have never used a vegetable peeler, so this will be a first for both of us, or all of us. Uh, I've used a vegetable peeler on vegetables, but not on mango trees. 
So I'm just going to shave off that. Well, it's it's not working like I want it to. Let's see. Oh, I think we have a protective cover. <laughs> that's the problem. All these safety features. Yeah, that's a good reason why that wasn't working. This actually isn't that easy to get off. <laughs> there we go, finally. Okay, so that is the instrument by itself. Make a cut. That should be enough. I'll use my handy dandy razor blade to get that cut part out of the way. Also, I'm going to take off the the top part of this branch because um, those new leaves take more energy and also it just feels like it's weighing it down. I don't want it to weigh down too much. Okay, so this uh, should be right about there. Hopefully come up with the same situation here. Okay, all we need is to have some of this line up. It looks looks pretty good. I think I'll just I'll ex sort of soften this is sort of a a big bump. I want to take out that oh bumps there a little bit and this is the same it sort of interferes with the oh darn uh but joining these two so i think that will work out better get that little leaf out of the way and when you bend you can bend you know like the, these young uh branches and stuff and uh pretty much, but you want to do it gently because you can snap this. It... So the trick, oopsie, this little bud here is causing a problem. It's um, sticking out too much, so I'm just going to shave that down. Let's see how that works. Okay. That's looking pretty good. So the strategy here is to tie this tightly so that there's no air coming through uh, or no light com also coming between these two cut parts. Let's see. Get them up at the right angle. Basically, I think I'll just tie this off at the bottom and then start from there. Yep, I like that strategy. If I've got an eight inch elastic, so that that should should be pretty darn good and wrapping it tightly I mean, you usually don't have to wrap things this tightly but this is both of these um, trees are, are have this fairly mature area here and I want them to stay together, so making sure that 
giving them a lot of encouragement to stay together. Okay. Okay. So there is just sort of a traditional approach graft. Right now, what I'm doing is making sure everything's lined up. So there was a, you know, the seedling and also um, the grafted plant. You know, I want to make sure that nothing, that you know, they're they're working in the same area, and not you know. So I'm just sort of make you know, feeling these two trees, the the and see, yeah, they. They seem like they're good now. I just had a little minor adjustment. So, we have turpentine and the promchymia, and we're hoping that this fuses very soon. I'm not going to use any buddy tape on this because these are both active plants. Uh, it's not like grafting a scion where you have to, um, you know, make sure you prevent moisture loss. Uh, these have plenty of ability to take up moisture and so um, they're very active. There's no reason to use the buddy tape in this area right now. So here is a situation where you can use a potted seedling uh, to do an approach graft on an established tree. So this is a, a fairly small seedling, uh, but it does have four good leaves. And these new leaves here, uh, the new leaves generally take about 45 days before they earn their keep. Uh, so with most, most grafts, I just take them off completely. But I'm just going to reduce the population in this particular situation because uh, it's, it's not as important when you're doing an approach graft. So this is my intended um, growth to put onto this plant. And I think because this plant is fairly heavy, it will just keep this particular branch pulled down. But we'll see how that works out. I've got a situation here where there's a bunch of leaves in the way. So I'll trim those off. And then I use a grafting knife that was made in China. Somebody sent me. See how this works out for lots of places to cut yourself on this one. <laughs> lots of options. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so far so good. So, guessing that I'll just um, I'll make a large cut and hopefully be able to. You want to get to the point where you just slide down the. Um, um, probably a little bit too deep, but this, this is sort of a tougher situation because of all the, the leaf buds that are, are in here. It's a little bit bumpy. So, I'd like it a little bit longer than that. I think part of the problem is that this knife is not quite as sharp as it could be. Get my handy dandy razor blade. Make sure that that's a good cut. Okay, that feels nice and flat. And then with this, this area right here seems to be a good one. There's a little bit of a curve to it. 
and it's an area that doesn't have many leaves, or any leaves at all at the moment. Let's see if that lines up. We can make that work, but I need to get this back a little bit more. And oh, still back a little bit more. I have to where it starts. Oh, I've got a, another situation where this is like a little bump that's sticking out. I'll take that bump off. Okay. There we go. Just checking to see where the cut starts. So, I think we're good like that. <laughs> Downside of having this, uh, uh, the potted plant at an angle is it wants to like dance away a little bit. Okay, I think I got the... bottom part off a little bit so that it doesn't slip so much. And then of course wrap it up. I'm going to use that. I might use that tail on the final tie. So keep that restrained. And again, we want to definitely use force to get this in place. We're giving the, these uh, trees about an inch and a half, uh, at least, to, uh, of, you know, like shaved area where they can fuse together. So uh, the whole area doesn't need to fuse. Uh, you just need to get enough uh, to, uh, you know, like get the, get the plants to grow together. Right there, it looks like it's looking pretty good. Pull the pot over a little bit so it's not making pressure on that. But uh, as again, that's the, the eight inch elastic strip. And there's our seedling. And this happens to be a lemon meringue tree. So, so hopefully this seedling will become a lemon meringue tree. Um, but basically what I need to do now is with both of these situations I have to uh, keep the the potted parts of each situation watered uh, because it doesn't matter if the graft is a success if one of the plants dies you you want to have the potted plants stay alive and you know with a big tree uh, it's going to stay alive no matter what um, that's one of the big disadvantages of approach grafting is the maintenance. You know, it is a little more awkward, at least for me, to do the graft. Uh, it's not as fast, and that's because I never do them. <laughs> but uh, it is a good graft to do if you're having problems grafting things. For instance, uh, perhaps you've tried to graft uh, jackfruit and have not been successful. Uh, you can use this uh, strategy and it really uh, it keeps both things alive it keeps the the source of the graft wood alive and the seedling alive as long as you remember to water them so uh, it's definitely um, 
time consuming and cumbersome for uh, like doing volume grafting, but there definitely are situations where approach grafting helps a lot.